Hey guys, I've got a quick one for you today. It's an app from the developer Chris Lacey. It's called TapPath. You probably recognize the name. He also developed Action Launcher and Link Bubble. It's a paid application. It's available in the Play Store for around 99 cents or 59p. And basically TapPath allows you to customize how clicking a web link in a third party app behaves. Now, if you don't quite get what that means, I don't blame you. Let's check it out. So opening up here, basically you have one tap, two tap and three tap options. In this case, if I tap once, it will go to Chrome. Tapping twice will copy it to clipboard and three taps will push it via push bullet. Now, of course, you can customize the apps. You can pick and choose what you want the taps to correspond to. But yeah, let's go ahead and test this out. So we'll open up a third party application here. We'll choose, I don't know, Twitter. And yep, yeah, you can see there's a link right there. So if we tap this link once, you'll see it opens up into Chrome. That's fine. If we go ahead and tap it twice, you can see it copies to the clipboard and tapping it three times will open up push bullet so you can just directly push it to a friend. As I mentioned earlier, you can pick and choose the apps that the taps correspond to. So for two taps, we're going to go ahead and change this to Twitter. And for the three tap option, we're going to go ahead and change that to the standard share picker. This time we'll try out the Facebook app and yep, there's a link right there. We won't bother with the one tap, we'll go straight to two and you can see it's gonna open it up in Twitter. The link is included in the tweet as well. So we'll go back to Facebook, we'll tap the link three times and this time it brings up the share menu. The app works great with Link Bubble 2. I have it set to two taps currently. So you now have the option to either single tap the link to open it via Chrome or if you want to stay in Twitter and open it in the background, you can double tap the link and it'll open it up in the link bubble. You can then continue to browse Twitter and when it's ready, you can tap the bubble and read the page. In terms of settings, there's really only one tap delay, which changes the delay between the taps. And yeah, that's basically it guys. So you can see it works very well, especially with something like link bubble. So yeah, let me know what you think. Peace out.